Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas, joined by Mr. Bruce Marshall at Bruce A. Marshall on Twitter, and Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV, Mr. College Basketball himself. I think I saw somebody tweet about you this morning. All right, let's talk about this nice matchup here in the Big 12. So we are filming on Wednesday. Baylor beat Texas Tech last night. KU is headed to the Hilton in Ames. No, not the hotel. Hilton Magic uh, to face Iowa State tonight as a five to five and a half point favorite. Ralph, your thoughts on this game? You kind of alluded to how you may play this depending on how the outcome of tonight's game goes. Well, Kansas is my number two power rated team at this point prior to playing Iowa State. So obviously if anyone gets banged up or injured, this write-up is off. If Kansas loses to Iowa State. Which has happened several times. Well, sure. And they have revenge from playing in the Big 12 championship last night. They lost in the Big 12 championship to Iowa State. So I think over revenge is overused. I think Kansas has legitimate revenge tonight on Wednesday. But I still look at Kansas has played the number one schedule in the country. And you look at what they've done, and they have the number two defense in the country, and it's a legitimate number two defense. I look at Baylor, and yes, they beat Texas Tech, but I still have my concerns going on the road. This is only their third road game. This is a back-to-back -back road game. They have a sophomore point guard who wasn't a starter last year. Jared Butler also plays shooting guard and backs up as, as a point guard. But... It gives them confidence going into Texas Tech, and Jared Butler didn't score until three minutes to go in the game, and they still pull out a win and a cover against Texas Tech. Why, you know, Bruce, the old adage, defense travels. Baylor 8-2-1 and one as an away dog, their last 11 in that role. You're right, Ralph, and, and I think, too, looking at the scoring in some of these games, the score lines have been very low in Baylor's games, the first couple on the road here, or the first couple in Big 12 play. The Texas game went 59-44 at Texas Tech on Tuesday night, like you said, 57-52. So they're not only going under, they're going way under. Way under. And I think it's because of those guards you mentioned. It's because of Butler, Teague, Bandu, Mitchell. They were able to control pace and flow. And Kansas, really good. They protect the rim well. They rebound well. Very solid on defense. But I wonder, they, I, they are not quite a finished product yet. Now, they, this team could end up getting in the Final Four. I agree with you. Dotson and Azubuike are two of their main scoring threats. They're going to need a couple of these other guys. They're going to need Igbaji, and they're going to need Moss to end up delivering and being more consistent scoring options, I think, for this team to really flourish. But in the meantime, I think under whatever happens to uh, Wednesday night with Kansas and Iowa State, I think the total is going to be one. You're going to want to look under here because that's well, the way about Baylor's 33, playing games. 34? Yeah, and I, th I don't is think. Is that you, where you, you I was thinking low one thir about 130, 31. Yeah, I said yeah, and then 33, so we're within a point there. Yeah, so let's I, say it's 32. Oh, I'm under. I don't think this game gets beyond uh, 120. I wow. Mean, I think, and where do you make the line? Well, Kansas is about seven? That's six and a half, seven. Okay, yeah. and, and, I, and I'm with you there, too, that if yeah. Kansas loses, I like them. And if, if Baylor's getting a touchdown, yeah. then I, I would lean with Baylor as well. Listen, Baylor's beaten Villanova. They've beaten Arizona. They're the only team to beat Butler. They went into Texas Tech. They can handle this assignment. So I would, I'm, I'd lean that way a little too. I was going to say seven seems very steep. I, I haven't gotten quite caught up on my college basketball yet. We're still in the full NFL swing. But getting into it over the past couple of weeks, that seems – like, well, they were a dog to well, Texas Tech, and you're looking at Kansas, a five-and-a-half-point well, favorite at Iowa State. Well, very true point. In Big 12, you know, early on I thought this is going to be a tough league for road teams to go out there and do well. But in the first week and a half, we've seen the better teams able to go out Absolutely. on the road. West Virginia's done it, and I th Baylor's looking tough. This is I mean, going to be a close You are game. talking. I mean, this is nothing like Big 12 football. Oh, you I are know. talking Texas Tech elite defense, defense. Baylor oh. elite defense, West, West Virginia, Virginia elite defense, Texas. Kansas elite defense. You've yeah. got five hey, top even case, 10 defenses. Even K-State plays defense. Yeah. Yes. You've got five top 10 or 12 defenses in the country. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a lower scoring league. The, the basketball there yeah. is awesome. All right, conference play is in full swing in college basketball, and you can get all access service through the Final Four from your favorite capper at WagerTalk or SportsMemo.com for just $4.95. That's a $500 savings off the regular rate of $9.95. You're going to receive every single play in college basketball from your favorite capper, and this includes all of his 5% plays that sell for $40 by themselves. Just use coupon code CBB495 at checkout.